What's up my fellow modders, let's install a Zerk 2 XE for the original Xbox. Don't know what that is? No problem, stick around and let me tell you about it. So what is a Zerk chip? In the words of its creator, the Zerk 2 offers a simple way to turn your Xbox on and off and inject the DVD tray with an IR remote. Also features a simplified LED fader to fade your status LEDs in and out while the Xbox is powered off. These LEDs can be your status LEDs, a single LED, or a string of up to 10 LEDs. More on that later. It also goes on to say it can control a mod chip, which it can, but in a very passive way, without a doubt being pointless to most, if not all. The Zerk comes pre-programmed with Poblot's open source code and will have a default button map for the Xbox DVD Playback Remote Kit. Which is the one I use, this is because I like to internalize the DVD kit, which then lets me control the Xbox with only this remote. It's nice for media playback, but that's a whole different mod, one I will be making another video on in the future, so check for links. Now, the Zerk does support other universal remotes, but I'm not going to show you how to make those work, so you're on your own if that's what you want to do. Now, I'm no stranger to making tutorials on how to install things that are no longer available. This is one of those times. Sick Mods is gone. I've been lucky enough to find some on eBay over the years. Also, fellow modders have reproduced them in small batches. They don't look the same, but the function and installation is identical. Tools and supplies to do this mod are pretty simple, just what you need to take the Xbox apart. Solder, soldering iron, wire, I'm using 26 gauge, wire clippers, wire strippers. Helpful things are flux and some super glue if you're into making things look good, which you should be. So remove your motherboard and flip it over, we'll be focusing all of our attention in this area. Now mount your chip to the bottom of the board. Once it's mounted, we will just begin by prepping all of our pads and attaching long lengths of wire to the six pads that have connection spots on the motherboard. These lengths will reach to the furthest point. Now if you wish, you can glue the bulk of these wires with a bit of super glue. This helps keep the routing tidy. It's also a pain to remove if you misjudge a wire length, so leave it for the end. Here's the official pinout diagram, just follow it according to your version of Xbox. Also read the SL pad notes if you wish to use the eject ring as your status LED. You can choose between having it fade either green or red, or really any color if you have performed the status light mod. Now another note is the Xbox power supply in a version 1 through 1.5 can only power two 5mm LEDs and the version 1.6 can power up to 10, which could lead to some interesting things with a bit of creativity. Then just start attaching the points one by one. All the soldering for this install took me just over 40 minutes and I was rushing a bit. It definitely didn't come out as clean as my previous install, here are some pictures of that. But overall, it looks pretty decent. If you have a version 1.2 through 1.5, feel free to use my install as reference. If not, you will need to figure out your own wire routing method. Now you have four pads left, but only three are important if you're just following this video. IRD, IR plus, and IR negative. You will need to decide where you'll be mounting your IRI. This is completely up to you. You can drill a hole somewhere in the faceplate, or you can just hang it out the case with no cares. This is all you. For me, I drill a hole and mount it in the faceplate. I also take it a step further by using these JWT connectors to make it so I can unattach the eye from the chip, allowing for the Xbox to be easily taken apart. Now, this is unnecessary, but it's what I like to do. The IR pad would connect to the IR dongle on the Xbox's DVD playback kit, which I will be installing just in another video, which will be my next video so you can ignore it for now. Once you plug your Xbox into the wall, your status light should blink on and then start to fade. This is how you know everything is installed correctly. Now just press the display button and your Xbox should power on. Then you long press the display button to power it down. Congratulations, now you can be lazy and power on and off your Xbox from the comfort of your couch. 
Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was able to help you. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe for more modding goodness. You can also follow me on Twitter at TechnoOnTop for channel updates and some sneak peek behind the scenes stuff. And until next time.